Hello guys. Today I'll show you how to recharge your uh, fridge here. This is a Samsung uh, French door style. This is one of the new ones actually. It was last year's model or a couple years, a couple years ago. Bought it and it's already broken. There is no uh, refrigeration unfortunately. So uh, in the display inside it'll show you uh, the freezer is zero and uh, the fridge is 37 but I put an actual thermometer and the fridge was uh, uh, 48 and the freezer was around 28 so uh, it was way way off so anyways uh, you've seen these videos here on the internet this is just a newer model uh, I wanted to put this uh, up there the control board is here there's nothing there's no LED here there's nothing uh, I think the diagnostics happen probably through a port um, we probably need a, a technician or whatever, but I'm not gonna get a technician here. I wanted to check the pressure first before I spring some money on a technician. And honestly, I was I was ready to throw this garbage out and just basically buy a new fridge and not mess with it. Because most of the time you get a technician here and most of the time they don't really know how to fix. They're just uh, good at replacing parts and just throwing parts. Uh, the, it's it's rare to find a technician that can diagnose even though it's really simple here but anyways um i put the piercing valve right here on this and i ended up using both uh pieces that come with it and then i hooked it up and checked the t the pressure the pressure was all the way all the way to the bottom so pretty much it was very low on freon uh this is from amazon i'll throw the link in the description uh, it was 16 I think $17, uh, the kit, and it comes with a, it comes with this, uh, this is for a different kind of, uh, of, of a bottle, but anyways, this is smaller than this, or this I think goes on, on that, uh, probably because that valve does not have a closing valve you know it's just completely open so you're basically relying on the piercing valve to close it all the way um, but yeah it's probably a good measure to throw this in here because it's got a valve that won't leak it's just like a tire valve unless you press it in so anyways uh, this is from walmart it was ten dollars no sealing in it and as you can see probably seen this before uh, you want to you charge it for a little bit and let it wait um, a little bit ago this actually didn't make a buzzing sound like it is right now it's like it came alive uh, there wasn't a whole lot of buzzing it wasn't hot now it's hotter um, but it was mildly warm initially and this line was cool now it's hotter so we're just gonna leave it and so that means the heat exchange is happening correctly. Um, I'm going to basically keep an eye on the temperature here. So I've had no ice for a long time actually, and I was wondering why, and uh, nothing was uh, freezing before. So anyways, this is a uh, one of these newer models. I wanted to uh put some content out there because most of the content i found is for older models uh, but anyways uh you get the idea it's very simple um if this was the pressure was good i uh, would have probably uh, got a technician or something Hopefully, or try to diagnose it further myself. It's probably there's some other part would be broken, but if it's long freon, then uh, let's give it some. Uh, must be leaking from somewhere. Who knows? Maybe there's a slow leak here or a slow leak somewhere. One of these fittings. Who knows? Um, you'd have to put a die and uh, use a UV light to track where, if it's even visible here. And you can see. You can see these how bad it is i mean i only clean it once and i did not cause these uh these bands here <laughs> kind of sucks uh but anyways hope you find this video helpful i will keep charging it um following the other videos advices all the way until like we cross a couple lines on the blue and uh 
Hopefully we'll have a working fridge for a while.